Camera number 98 of 365 is the Minolta Dynax 40. The camera requires two CR2 batteries to operate, so let's just go ahead and put some batteries in. So the batteries are placed uh, with the positive terminal uppermost, and then uh, we close the plastic door. Just to uh, be careful of the door, it has a little latch, plastic latch, that uh, can sometimes break, and then we have to start uh, taping it up, which uh, wouldn't be quite right on this occasion. Uh, it's probably one of the f few cameras I've actually uh, got hold of, which actually has the original box and uh, all the manuals, uh, even the plastic bag inside. Um, so it had very little wear, and so it's probably the f one of the few times I'll get to open or unbox a new old film camera. Meanwhile, just looking at the uh, top of the camera here, so we've got uh, the off. When we put it on to P for program, uh, we can see the uh, on this occasion my battery is quite low. We get an indication there with the flashing battery logo. Program mode is not shiftable, so uh, whatever the camera feels is the correct exposure, it will set uh, presumably based on maybe focal length and distance. Uh, with the f program mode on, if we t press the function button down, we now can also choose from another, a couple of the custom um, um, modes. We have uh, portrait, landscape, macro, sports mode, and nighttime portraiture. Moving it off, back to the off position and uh, back further to program, we can now choose the more customary uh, aperture priority, shutter priority and manual modes. Moving on, we can choose our, uh, from our three focus points, we can choose all three, uh, or the left hand one, the middle one, or the right hand one. Moving the dial further, we can choose from autofocus or manual focus. And then uh, we also have uh, uh, bracketing, auto exposure bracketing and multiple exposures. And then finally we get to choose our ISO, even though the camera does have uh, DX coding. So let's just move it back there. Turning to the right hand side, uh, it's dominated by the liquid crystal display. We have all the uh, information given to us through the viewfinder. We have uh, aperture and shutter and a green um, confirmation light regarding focus and also I believe a flash um, logo. The two buttons on the right hand side here, uh, we can toggle through with the bottom one, a self timer and a continuous release mode. And then on the top one we can cycle through various flash modes, we've got it on no flash at the moment. Oops. Let's just put it on to a mode. Okay. There we go. So auto exposure, uh, auto flash, beg your pardon. The camera will choose to use flash. And then, oops, pressing the wrong button. And then we've got uh, auto flash with red eye. We have fill in flash, fill in flash with red eye, and then no flash at all. Turning to the back of the camera. We have uh, just one single button for exposure compensation. And then just turning to the right, so we have a little button dedicated to a mid-roll uh, rewind of the film. And then our film door is uh, opened with the latch. And then finally on the front here we have uh, the lens release. There we go. And that's it. So let's just put the back on. Uh, that's mu pretty much uh, it for the Minolta Dynax 40, camera number 98 of 365.